Welcome to Cocktail Corner. I'm the Gnome, and this is Cocktail Corner on the Gnome's Tavern. Uh, so, I'm about to get on my soapbox a little bit. This next cocktail we are making is normally called the Mantini. Mantini. And I really hate that name. It kind of like implies that martinis aren't manly and you need to man it up. But actually, I think martinis are probably the most manliest drink. And Future Richard will put a huge list of famous men that have joined martinis but also too the two biggest ones was Winston Churchill who enjoyed a martini that was two ounces of gin that was stirred while it looked at a bottle of vermouth which shout out to my good buddy Marty who is the best person in the world to ask where you can get a drink in New Orleans who says that is just drinking cold gin <laughs> But uh, the other famous person who drinks martinis, of course, is James Bond, the manliest guy in the world. We him and Winston Churchill. So anyway, I'm changing the name, and we're going to call it the Eli Teeny. We're going to give a huge shout out to uh, my buddy, um, Eli, and you can check out Tavern on Tab. We do a show together. He really hates gin, and he hates the flavor of grapefruit. So if I named this drink after him. He'll have to drink gin and grapefruit with me, right? All right, Eli? <laughs> so, how are we going to make this drink? It's pretty easy. We're going to, uh, it's a stirred drink. So we're going to take two ounces of gin. Um, so essentially it's going to be closer to your martini. Except we're going to not add vermouth. So we're doing two ounces of gin. Beautiful. Beautiful. A little extra because I poured a little bit more than I... <laughs> and then, this is kind of the part that's supposed to make the drink manly. Uh, we're actually going to use beer. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you have a friend that loves beer and you want to get them into cocktails, this is a really good drink for that. So we're going to pop open. Use whatever beer you like. Usually Belgium beers are really good in this cocktail, but use whatever one you like. I'm going to use a fat tire. Ooh, he's a nut shot up. And we're going to do about um, three-fourths of an ounce or an ounce. And then uh, we are going to put a little ice in there. Perfect, and we're gonna stir that up. And then we're gonna stir it up just a little bit. And then we're going to add, uh, we're gonna add some orange bitters to this drink. Orange bitters, uh, Blue Moon's really good in this drink too because Blue Moon already like looks, am tastes amazing with an orange. So like keep that in mind, but we're gonna do our Woodford Reserves bitters and there'll be a link down below. And I love the taste of grapefruit. I've been obsessed with grapefruit cocktails. So put down below which grapefruit cocktail I should try next. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna put a little couple dashes of grapefruit and we're gonna give a nice stir. Now I don't know about you guys. I may have said this in another video, but comment below. I know a lot of, uh, I have a lot of bartender friends. Comment below how you make your martini and also too, what do you think feels cooler, stirring or shaking? I like stirring. I always feel like an old prohibition bartender, like I'm hiding out and like stirring a drink. So let me know below. And then we're gonna take, to destroy the masculinity of the mantini, we're gonna put it in a nice flowery cooped glass right there. <laughs> Courtney, have I, have I been on my soapbox too long? She's nodding yes. <laughs> And then we're gonna pour it into the glass. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, perfect, perfect glass. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a maraschino cherry and an orange on top. Boom. And that is the Eli Teeny. So it's gonna be a nice beer cocktail. You know, there's not a lot of beer cocktails, so we're gonna have a nice one. Let's do it, let's see. Mm. There's, <laughs> that grapefruit's coming in strong. Mm. That is a tasty drink. That is a really good drink. I really enjoy that. The beer just flows with the gin, giving like that nice, so you get that nice beer thickness of the Belgian. And then the grapefruit is just throughout the drink. Uh, you could take the grapefruit out if you're not a big grapefruit fan, but I love that grapefruit throughout the drink. Sometimes I'll even make this one with a grapefruit beer and just kind of skip the middle, man, you know? But the gin is nice and flowery. That kind of works with uh, the beer. And it's just a really awesome drink. And, you know, it's named after a really awesome person, Eli. And if you want to see Eli, Eli and I's adventures, check out Tavern on Tap. There'll be a playlist 
on my channel where we try many different alcohols and mostly crack jokes and make mistakes. <laughs> so, really perfect show. But I'm gonna enjoy this perfect drink and the best way that you can help me enjoy this perfect drink is by like, commenting, and sharing. And tell me what, uh, tell me some famous people that like martinis. And what's your martini recipe? Well, I enjoy the Eli Teeny. And don't forget the most important thing is to always tip your bartender. Peace. Mm.